Hey guys, Ezra here again with another video. As you can see, I'm in a car and uh, it's not the TL that I had before. Um, I actually got a new car and I sold the Lexus that I've been working on for the past two years or so. As you can see, it's a Type R. That's my first new car. I'm back to a manual. So I will be continuing the manual transmission series that I've been working on or that I filmed the part one for, for forever. And now I'm able to continue that with this new car. I wanted to say thanks to all the viewers. A lot of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribers, so thank you to those who stopped by. With your, with your views, um, I'm able to purchase things to help improve the channel, like a new digital audio recorder and this lavalier mic. Lava, lavier mic? Anyways, so I wanted to say a quick thanks to all the viewers for stopping by. If you like what you see or if you work on Lexuses or soon to be Type R's, feel free to subscribe and, and uh, enjoy your stay here. So my next video series will probably be continuing my how to drive a manual. And Eventually doing oil changes, work doing normal maintenance, regular maintenance on your Civic Type R. Um, no more videos of the Lexus, unfortunately. The transmission in it uh, died, so I used that as an excuse essentially to buy a new car. That, that's my reasoning. I'm not going to be uh, ashamed of it. <laughs> Been wanting a new car or a different car than the Lexus for a while, so I found it as a opportunity. Used it as an opportunity to buy a new one. A lot of things have changed that I might have not mentioned over my videos. I've sold my motorcycle so I no longer ride. Um, now I sold my Lexus. And that's, uh, that's gone. Uh, just didn't want to deal with transmission issues anymore. And now I have this car. So I'm just back to one car. So yeah, this, this channel might devolve into my life with a Civic Type R. I guess I could talk about what it's like to own a Type R, at least for the four weeks or so that I've had it now. Again, it's my first new car. I've been sit driving used cars all my life, or hand-me-downs. Kinda, kinda went all in on this one. And now, <laughs> the reason why I picked the Type R over any other one was a lot of, it's, a lot of the critics uh, liked it, magazines liked it, and I needed something that would be daily drivable. So I commute primarily by car. I wanted something that would be comfortable on the road, but still sporty. and. Apparently the Civic Type R was the was the most streetable tune for the street suspension out of, out of the factory. So that was the reason why I got it. There was a guy that was just there was a guy that was just uh, staring at my car and blocking traffic. So <laughs> that's another thing about this car is uh, it does draw a lot of attention, either negative or positive. Quite frankly, I don't I don't really care. <laughs> I didn't buy it for them, but uh, <clears throat> it's kind of funny though, since this is my first new car, and then let alone a car that is somewhat desirable. So it's it's interesting seeing people stare at it or 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 uh, <laughs> take pictures of it or video it. It's pretty it's pretty uh, a new experience. Definitely no one filming me my GS 350 that I had earlier. So yeah. It's back, back to a manual transmission. After the Lexus died, I didn't really want to deal with that anymore, and didn't want to deal with automatic transmissions, for that, for that matter. Um, because it, a rebuild is going to cost over two thousand dollars. A swap is going to cost over two thousand dollars. I mean, rebuilding a manual gearbox is way cheaper, at least from what I've researched, and also a clutch. It's easy to tell what's wrong with a manual transmission aside from 
inherent grinding issues that some people are having. But if a clutch is slipping, you replace the clutch, maybe the flywheel if it's, if it's worn or uh, scorched. Uh, if it's grinding, it's the synchros. In worst case, you chip the gear. But it's just way easier to diagnose than an automatic transmission. That was one thing I was gambling with when I bought the, the Lexus, the automatic transmission. I didn't think it would die that early, but it did. I was kind of on a, on a goose chase trying to track the transmission issue down. It could be the solenoids, the valve body, it could be the filter, it could be the fluid. I changed the fluid though. Changed the fluid. Uh, what else did I do? I even had the ECU rebuilt and they replaced the solenoid controller. So something was wrong with it. Too many things in the automatic transmission can go wrong. And in my car, it was part, partly the ECU, which I had rebuilt, or the ECM. And now it's still kind of shifting funny when I sold it. Don't worry, I let the guy know. I sold it for cheap, actually. I told him he needed to rebuild it almost immediately. Like there's, you, you can't wait anymore. Or you can drive it till it's dead and then swap a used transmission into it. It was definitely something in transmission and I didn't know what it was and I wasn't looking forward to paying money to diagnose it and then ultimately pay $2,000 plus to replace or rebuild it. So that was kind of the reasons why I wanted to go back to a manual transmission. It's just easier to diagnose. There's like a lot of things you can do yourself. With the automatic transmission, unless you're really skilled, it's not, there's not much you can do. So that's why I don't like automatic trans transmissions, even though they're kind of the new, they're in everyday cars now. They're in everyday, more, more and more cars are coming, with, coming out with automatic transmissions and this is kind of like the rare, the rare, uh, rare breed now having a manual. All right, that's it guys. I'm at work, so keep an eye out for new videos and uh, I will see you guys later.